how to ollie, and ollie is the backbone of almost all skate tricks. Bruh. It is the technique of jumping yourself and the board into the air. The first thing you need to do is connect your magnets onto your shoes. Magnets! Oh! Just kidding. But if it isn't magnets, how does it actually work? The reason the board comes with you is from the technique of pushing down, jumping, and sliding your front foot all at once. Pushing down. Jumping. and sliding your front foot I know it sounds a little complicated, but it is possible for you to learn it right now in this video. It would help if you practice rolling around and get comfortable in your board, but it is still possible to learn ollieing without riding at all. Let's get started. This is where you want your feet to be placed on the board. Do not do this with your back foot. We need to really use our calves and toes to push down on the tail of the board as we jump. Trying to do this from the base of our foot will not work. Do not put your front foot too high up on the board. This can feel more comfortable, but what brings the board into the air with us is this motion of sliding our foot, and if our foot is too high up, we cannot do it. Now we want to snap our tail and jump up. To feel comfortable, you can get used to this movement without your board, as well as prepare on your board. Now we are ready to snap the tail, jump up, and slide our front foot. If your ollies are looking like this, or this, timing is your problem. Keep practicing the timing. Watch yourself back on video and look at other people. Eventually, it will feel more natural and automatic. If you are going like this, you need to push down harder. If you are afraid, you can try on grass or holding onto a pole. It is really great for your confidence. Remember to squat down to power your ollie. Try some high power and low power to perfect your technique. If you are going like this, focus on your shoulders and really try to keep them straight. The most important part is to keep trying. Everyone learns at a different pace. Don't get discouraged. Keep going and have confidence in yourself that you will eventually do it. Think of skateboarding like swimming. It's not so innately hard, but it can't be learned from a book and it can't be learned in a few minutes. But with knowledge and experience, it does become second nature.